Hello everyone, on this lesson we are going to see how to generate masks to map the density out. And for this lesson we are going to start seeing and checking this part of the generator attributes. As you can see here, you can change how the hair grows with a seed, so you can actually change the position of most of the hairs. You have the density, which will be affecting the amount of hairs that you can uh, see on the display. The density also is going to be controlled by the percent that it's on the preview. I can have a density of 40 with a preview of 10 and on the render you will be seeing the density of 40. But for, rend for uh, viewport settings you will have only at the 10% of that amount. So you can change that and have a high, high, high limit here or high values and you can just work with the start percent, percent and limit and also prim uh, set the only primitive in view that will set that if you reload everything you will only be calculating the primitive that are in view if you do not want to have that you can just uncheck that one and each time that you reload your primitive it doesn't matter if they are just only the ones that are in the viewport you will all you will also have all the primitives that are there so you can see it like that and it's going to have more primitives. Now, let's go back here and you have the mask. The mask is going to be mapped by a density. Right now we have a density of one and the map is going to be on description density. So it's going to look for the path that we have for our project. It's going to look for the description folder. Let me show you. So we have here the full project. It's going to look for this folder it's going to look for the Exion folder. It's going to look for collections. And inside of collection, it's going to look for test. That is the name of the description, right? You can see here, collection is the name of the collection. Test is the name of the description. So it's going to look for collection, test, and it's going to look for the density mask. We do not have a mask right now. So the number that is using it's one. So it's having a full density. Now we are going to select here on the drop down menu and we are going to create a mask. It's going to give us a name. So mask uh, density or density mask. You want to, you if you want to change the name, you can put anything that you want. You have the map resolution. I like to leave it at five. If not, it's going to take more samples. It's going to be heavier and with more resolution and you have based on attributes colors white black and gray if you want to remove everything and just sample a little bit part of the description to have hair put black and start from black if you want to put just minor parts as black start from white and gray is just a middle body i'm going to start from black because i'm going to change the density here no actually i'm going to start from white and I'm going to create my map. Remember that you need to be on the Lambert number one to be able to paint. If you're not, you're going to see this thing, the, the clicker here, and you're going to see something like that. And that means that you do not have the Lambert number one and you're not going to be able to paint. So let's paint again. You are going to see the tool settings of the 3D paint tool. And I have the color on black, so I'm going to paint but you can see here that I forgot to say this on the region map settings. For region map, you should always paint with full values here. And when you're painting over here, you should also paint with a full value for the density at the start. Just put the full value because if you do not, the gradients are going to look weird sometimes with action. So you will lose some details and the black spot is going to be smaller and you're going to lose the details for sure. Now I want to create a gradient here. You can either work with white and paint back the white here. You can see that I have some hairs there that I want to remove. You can make it bigger if you want a softer gradient. And so the white value is going to be where I have my gradient. The dark values are going to be where I do not have hairs. So black no hairs, white, a lot of hairs. If I lead my uh, groom like this, I'm going to have the uh, 
uh, effect that I only will have hairs on the borders. Let me see. First, save the texture because that's going to save me an if texture. You can see it here. Now we have a new texture here that is for the shape. That's for the artisan or the 3D tool to work. And now let's save the density here. And as you can see, I have only the hair for the sides, the ones that were using white. And I have my gradient, you can see here. That's not what I want to have. So let's bring everything back. Let's put a flood paint. I will flood everything white. Now I have everything again on the on, on white. Everything it's having the same value. I'm going to go to black and I'm going to paint first a full value here of black to reduce the amount of hair that I have around here. Let me show you that area. I like it. Now I'm going to use the smooth tool to smooth the borders, but that's not that big. So let's try to paint with white. So I'm going to, I'm painting with white with a high gradient. That's going to give me a nice softer effect for the gradient on the sides. Now I'm making it smaller to reduce the cuts. I do not want to see any of these hard edges. Here, here. And that's going to be my gradient for that part. Maybe a bit more around here. And let's save the texture. Close here and save the texture here. And now you can see that my texture, it's or my hair is growing. And I have a gradient here is growing a little bit less. You can see here we have less density until we have a lot of density over the sides. So that's how you work the density out from the maps. And that's how you work everything here. If I want to have less density towards the side, I just can come here and edit everything again. If I want to have, let's say, a nice spot over here. I can just bring some shapes and draw something where I want to have less hair and save texture. Remember to always save the, save the texture because that's going to save you the if file for the 3D tool to work. And here you can see that now I have the values where I want and want and do not want to be growing hair. That's if you want to have a nice haircut that's great to have that kind of effects that will be all for this lesson and see you on the next one